Crystal River Middle School student suspected his teacher harbored racist views. Well, tonight he's convinced. Teacher Diana Volatich is not in her classroom while the school board investigates her extracurricular activities. Peter Bernard is on the night before us in Crystal River. Social studies teacher Diana Volatich is getting heat for social media posts, a blog, and her podcast that portray her as a white nationalist. She been having some crazy thoughts lately. Crystal River Middle School student Trayvon Smith doesn't like what he's seen and heard about his former teacher. Yeah, it bothers me a lot. Like, she, she racist, and like, look at my skin color. I'm black. Volatich, using the name Tiana Dolichoff, hosts a podcast that promotes alt-right viewpoints. Here's a sample of what she's posted. So many other researchers have already looked into this, and that's just the way it is. There are, there are races that have higher IQs than, than others. Another student at Crystal River Middle School tells me he just watched some of the videos today. People already told me, like, she was, like, they didn't like him and stuff like that. And how she, they was, she was giving more love to the, you know, other skin colors is us. Other evidence includes posts to her Twitter account showing pictures of the former KKK Grand Wizard. And this, it isn't supremacist or hateful to prefer your own people over others. Volatich denies being a racist, saying she doesn't teach her beliefs in class and claiming her posts are political satire and exaggeration. This parent disagrees. They were talking about segregation in a civil rights uh, type of capacity and the teacher somewhat alluded that segregation might possibly be okay in her opinion. This former student tells me he's had bad feelings about Volatich. I, I, knew, I knew something but like I thought it wasn't true but I, I know it's true now because like I heard the things she'd been saying on social media. The Citrus County School Board is investigating and nobody is talking about its next move. In Crystal River, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.